So look, gang, I know I told y'all I was going to give y'all this video tonight. But turns out y'all won't be getting this video till tomorrow. What time? I don't know. I'm not in a rush to give it to y'all. So for those of you who are on my channel on the daily, y'all know I posted a video a few days ago claiming that Ty and Kayla, Nicole, they were still friends and that maybe Nicole and Deshae weren't friends. Well, this is what my girl Nicole had to say. So let's clear that up. Her and Deshae are still friends. I know why y'all clicked on this video and trust me, it's coming. I just want to clear a few things up and I want to make sure everyone is on the same track. So I know everyone is wondering, why is Ty and Nicole not friends anymore? So Deisha did respond to the hate comments and she basically said that her and her sister are not always the problem. In retaliation, my girl Nicole posted these screenshots. So this is a conversation between her and her manager. This my new number, Caleb. I'm so upset about this whole situation. I'm so hurt because I'll never disrespect you or talk bad about you behind your back. I'm laid back and chill as f. I I wish this could have been avoided. She responded, yes, you will and more than likely already have to her. Why the f you side with her? He said, I have never. I'm on nobody's side. I don't agree with none of this. Then she goes to say, she was laughing, thinking I was playing, but started standing beside you, smirking like she won something. I'm not prying you away from her to take away her happiness. Y'all shouldn't up and be together because they ruined us. You knew that was my beat, and I would have beat anybody else A about her. You the effing problem. Somehow the conversation changed, and she drew right back into the conversation. And this is what she had to say again. All of this could have been avoided if you would have left her alone. You knew better. When you was coming back telling me things she said to you about me, you should have known right then. You steady want to F with her, dude. You choosing and going against the grain. You do not know this B. You letting a B have you because she giving you P when you got hella B's at you. I'm not effing with you if you F with her. You wrong as F, bruh. How you go from diving this B to effing her and riding with her over me? You're everything they say about you, and I always kept it real with you and had your back. Anything I said, I told you directly. Now I don't trust you. Now look, this is no shade to Ty, no shade to Nicole, and no shade to do. We all know my girl Ty, she, she gets around sometimes. She's a fun girl. She's one of those. It's okay, though. But, Nicole, baby, you know I fuck with your channel. You chill. You cool. You're beautiful. But it's obvious you're jealous. Now, to me, it seemed as if their friendship ended because of this dude. I guess he got in the middle. And my girl, Nicole, became jealous. Now, it's normal. As a gent. When you're 10 years old, you see your best friend playing with somebody else and now you're mad, you're jealous. It happens. But come on now. Let's read between the lines. So like I said, that was no shade at all. Don't bite, don't cry, don't trip. Only reason I said my girl seemed jealous is she kept bringing up the fact that Ty and this dude was getting intimate in the bed. They was getting down. That seemed to really bother her for why. I don't know why. I don't know if she's crushing on Ty. I don't know if she's crushing on dude. I don't know what it is. And two, she admitted to Ty in this text message that she was. So let's fast forward because y'all know I really don't care about the drama. It is what it is. It is what it's going to be. I got a DM today and it reads, Yo, what's up? I saw your vid about Ty and Kayla. I was their cameraman and I got some stuff to say because a lot of the stuff that's going around isn't true. First off, Kayla liked Zay because every time we were together, she was always trying to flirt with him. And that made Zay uncomfortable. He kept talking to Ty and made it very obvious that he liked her. Then Kayla came to me trying to influence me to talk to Zay and get him to date her. Of course, I said no because I'm not that type of guy. 
I'm never the one to force somebody to date someone they don't want to date. Anyways, after I said that, Kayla fired me. Our girl Kayla Nicole, she got it going on. She's firing everyone. Now, before I continue, gang, let me know what y'all think. Do y'all believe this? Spam yes or no in my comment section below. And let's continue. And then my dude goes to say anyways. Then a couple days later, me and Zay chilling. He getting high, trying to take his mind off of the problem. He told me he liked Ty. And he told me that he really didn't want to be Kayla's manager anymore because she was trying to come on to him. How this all got back to Kayla firing Zay is she got mad because he told her straight up that he didn't like her and he wanted to just be the manager. She got mad and started going off saying that Ty was trying to come between them and that Zay was her manager first. She went on to start calling both of them bitches, hoes, and niggas. I was just there because I was hanging out with Zay. After that, she fired him. And now it all leads to Zay being Ty's manager. Game, before I continue, y'all know I gotta ask what y'all think so far. It seems as if my dude Zay, he got it going on. Mr. Masterpiece. That dude. He was once Nicole manager. He got dropped from Nicole. Slipped his weight into Ty's draws. And became her manager. Now, I thought that Ty's father was the Taylor girl's manager. Anyways, my dude continues and he's safe, but that's not it. He was her manager for a while, but then Ty started to get more feelings for Zay, and Zay Ben had feelings for her. He was just trying to get closer, and since Kay fired him, he had the chance to be Ty's full-time manager, which he wanted to do. Anyway, they started dating. They told me before they told Zay, I guess my dude meant Kayla. Y'all know when y'all typing too much or reading too fast and y'all skip over words. I do it all the time. And I told him, don't do it because it's going to be all over the internet. And now they are. They didn't want to listen to me. But anyway, that's the whole story. Some of the stuff people saying is false. Also, before all of this, they went to L.A. together. Kayla came back to ATL early because she was getting a little bit jealous of Ty and Zay's relationship. If you ask me, I think Kayla was going to fire Zay anyway, but that's what happened. Now look, y'all know I had to ask. I said, okay, do you want to be anonymous? And do you have any proof that you and Zay are friends? Because I can upload this tonight once I'm off of work. And he said, we were friends. Then I got fired from being that cameraman. And yeah, I have proof. This is some of the stuff that I have saved from when we were friends. And look, foolies, show sure enough. He was their cameraman. I asked dude, do you want to be anonymous? And my dude said, no. He don't care. Let it all out. Now look, I ain't got too much to say on this part of this situation. Because he can be telling the truth. He can be lying. I really don't know. But you guys, you have to admit, my dude's story is at no. With Ty's story. Not only that, Ty's story is basically adding up to... Nicole's screenshots like just put it all together now I know the situation is old but I did bring it back up because like I say anything you guys DM me anything you guys want me to talk about guess what Scott gonna do it I'm gonna talk about it I'm gonna talk about things they won't talk about because they scared of the backlash they scared of the heat they scared of the fire they scared of the 13 year old subs and before I leave this video I do want to say this a lot of you guys, y'all love sending me fake information. Look up. You send me some fake information, I post it and look stupid, I'm going to block you. Now, foolies, y'all know I got to send this video to the press. This video is y'all's. What do y'all think about this? And look here, man. Something I got to say to Ty. Look, business and uh, getting busy in the bed, it doesn't mix. My dude is smart. He is playing his role. He already got in the door with Nicole. Now, Ty, it's your turn. And baby girl, Ty, after this relationship, I think you need to take a break. Be relationships alone. You are never single. You are always in a relationship. What is up with that? Now, gang, I'm going to say it again before I end this video. Anything you guys want me to talk about, Sky is going to talk about it. So hit me up in my DM at Fool Ass Sky. Tap in with me. Tap in with my channel. If you want sub, 
Make sure you do that before you click off this video. Keep in tune so you can stay in tune, baby. And I'm out. I love y'all. Thanks for the love. Thanks for the support.